This is Apple's smart folio for the iPad Pro 11 inch in black. This comes in at a steep 79 US dollars. The unboxing experience of this is premium. In fact, it's very similar to that of the Apple Pencil and rightfully so as it costs over half as much as the Apple Pencil does. In the box, you get some paperwork, the case itself, and a piece of cardboard that is shaped like an iPad Pro. Once you get through the packaging into the product itself, it immediately feels very similar to that of the silicone case for the new iPhone 12 Pro, which comes in at an also very steep 49 US dollars. And in all honesty, once you hold this case in the hand, it doesn't feel like a $79 product. Fortunately, on the inside, it's lined with some kind of premium feeling Alcantara like fabric. And that's not to say the whole case doesn't feel high quality. In fact, it feels high quality for a case, but at the same price point, you can get the Herschel Pop Quiz that serves so many more functions than this case ever could. However, I'm not here to criticize the case solely on its steep price. So then how does it serve its purpose as a, you know, case? If you're someone who brings your iPad everywhere and drops it often, this is not the case for you as it is not the most protective case. And if it's protection you're looking for in a case, this case here I bought on Amazon will do a much better job of keeping the iPad protected as it has protective plastic around the corners of the iPad, unlike the Apple case that completely lacks any protection around three of the four sides of the iPad. However, if you're like me and keep your iPad in one of three places, a backpack on a charger or being used on a desk, there is something to be said about the value of this case. As I mentioned before, the interior of the case is lined with a premium feeling fabric that gives me confidence in the case's ability to protect the covered size of the iPad, including sometimes the screen, from any scratches or marks that a cheap plastic case may leave behind. Moreover, this product does function very well as a stand in both ways and it has the convenient peak feature. However, most all cheap portfolio cases can do this. What separates this case from the cheaper ones on Amazon is it has magnets on both sides so the flap that protects the front of the case will stick to the back of the case if you're not using it so you don't have to worry about it dangling. Something that was very annoying with the cheaper case. Moreover, you can also fold over the top flap that will stick to the one under it allowing you to take pictures easily. Another feature not present on the cheaper case I had bought. Apple's more premiumly priced case also has measured the piece of cloth that goes along the width of the iPad perfectly so when the front of it is flipped around back it doesn't get in your way. More importantly, the combination of the relatively short piece of fabric and the magnets allow the flap to stay in place when it's wrapped around the back. The cheaper case has a longer piece of fabric that wraps around and lacks the magnet that causes the flap to slide around when it's wrapped around the back. Something that is a fatal flaw in my opinion as it almost led to me dropping the iPad several times. Something that's, in my opinion, really important but people don't often talk about is the way the case looks. Apple is the master of marketing the beauty of their products, and this case is no exception to that rule, as it looks exponentially better than any other case I've been able to find. Obviously, this will vary widely from person to person, and this is just my opinion. Keeping this case clean over time is a breeze, as anything that may get on the outside of the case can just be wiped away with the hand. However, when the front flap is wrapped around back, if something gets on the interior fabric, it can be a bit annoying to get out, but it's still no big deal. However, it's important to note that if something does get on the fabric and you don't notice it, you will notice it when you pull it away from the screen as it will get on your screen. Something that's very annoying, but I don't know how a company could avoid this. So. In conclusion, if you keep your iPad in a safe area most of the time and need a case that will protect it from any minor drops, scratches, or blemishes and really value the convenience and functionality of the case, Apple's portfolio case may just be for you.